Good morning. In this video, we shall be studying the set of numbers. Understanding the set of numbers is important into, in, to understanding real numbers which we study in real analysis. In this video, we shall be exploring the numbers and we shall be exposing you to what numbers really are and the different types of numbers many people did not really know exist. In further videos, the characteristics of certain types of numbers and why they behave so will be exploited and talked about in a manner every, even the market woman will understand. If you are new to this channel, please make sure you watch this video to the end as there will be a mind-blowing revelation you never hear from anywhere else. Also, make sure you click the red subscribe button down below and hit the bell beside it and watch the phone that follows. We will appreciate your support as well by giving this video a thumbs up, drop an encouraging comment down below, And let others know about this learning channel by sharing it on all social media platforms. Thank you. Let's go to learn the set of numbers. What are numbers? What are numbers? Numbers are the quantity or the numerical digits or the numerical values we use to count or measure the quantity or the magnitude of objects. We use numbers to measure or count quantity. And quantity simply means how many and magnitude. which simply means how much sorry it means how large how large or how little something is There are different types of numbers we use every day. Some are, some of them we are conscious. Some we don't, we are not even conscious of their existence. And here I'll try to expose all to all of them, but I'll begin first with the common ones. I have the first set, the natural numbers natural numbers and the symbol we use to represent them is this symbol letter n natural numbers we can also call them counting numbers counting numbers they are the numbers we use for counting and the set letter N, the set of natural numbers, have elements beginning from 1. Naturally, we begin counting from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on up to infinity. And that is the set of natural numbers. A set of natural numbers for example we could say one apple two days nine hours ten years and the rest of them so we count using this set of numbers and we use these numbers every day another set of number that we have is what we call the whole numbers 
whole numbers and we use this symbol w to represent whole numbers and the set of whole the set of whole numbers is the same thing as the set of natural numbers only that in whole numbers we have included zero along with the natural numbers we have included zero so the set of natural numbers with zero becomes set of whole numbers and zero is only there to indicate the point of nothingness before we start counting so therefore from here you can see that the natural numbers are inside the whole numbers and so we can say natural numbers are a subset of whole numbers natural numbers are a subset of whole numbers please note this number three the third set is the third set is the integers the set of integers and we represent this set with the letter z the letter z so integers are the set that contains both the natural numbers or let me say the whole numbers and the negatives of the natural numbers the negatives of natural numbers are included in this set so this set integer include stores like minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 up to infinity and here is also down up to from infinity so this is the set of natural numbers and then you will observe that the whole numbers at least zero are already also in this set are already also in this set so we can therefore see that whole numbers are also subsets of integers and then it suffice to say that since natural numbers are subset of whole numbers and they are also subset of integers integers so we are uh, we are looking at sets of numbers the next set of numbers we need to quickly learn are called the quotients the quotients or rational numbers and we use the letter Q to represent quotient numbers letter Q to represent quotient numbers now it becomes interesting here quotient numbers are numbers that can be written in the form P over Q such that P and Q belongs to belongs to integers belongs to integers that means they belong to the set that contains both the negative zero and positive numbers but Q cannot be equal to zero but Q cannot be equals to zero now the term rational is from the word ratio and that means comparing two quantities comparing two quantities so for example we could have 
any number in fractional form belongs to quotient. So we could have something like quotient to be equals to any number that is in P over Q form that we say 1 over 2, 3 over 4. And we could also have uh, any number say 7 over 10. Now observe that because P and Q belong to integers, every integer is can be written as a quotient. For example, we can write 1 over 1. We can write 2 over 1 to be equals to still 2. We could say, for example, 10, and we can write it as, which is an integer, and it as 10 over 1, and it can still be represented as a fraction. If we have something like minus 5, we can still write it as minus 5 over 1, and it's still the same thing. So every integer can be written in a quotient form. Therefore, what this tells us is that integers are subsets of quotients. Integers are subsets of quotients. So uh, every integer number can be written as a quotient number or let me call them a rational number. And then it suffice to say that natural numbers are a subset of whole numbers which are subsets of integers and are also subsets of quotients. Please note this uh, expression here. It's very important to understand them. Now, there is a set of number that does not belong to the quotient number. And we call those one the irrational, irrational numbers. And we represent them as I, the irrational numbers. Now, there are numbers that cannot be represented as exact fraction of a particular number. They are um, they are decimal numbers without a repeating and they are non-terminating decimals. They have repeating and non-terminating decimals. For example, we have root 2. The square root of 2 is an irrational number. And then we have the another example. We have um, pi. Pi is an... So the last set of... Um, numbers is the real numbers the real numbers and the real numbers basically contain or uh, contain every um, set of numbers we have talked about before are found in the real numbers uh, or both the rational and the irrational numbers. Remember, the rational numbers contains the uh, the quotients, the integers whole numbers and of course the natural numbers are contained in the rational while the, uh, the irrational is the set of numbers typically the pi, the root 2, the e and the rest of them are the irrational so all of them are contained in rational so to round up this uh, lecture, we I like to show you uh, the diagrammatic representation of everything I've been talking about. That uh, we have a set of numbers, 
called the natural represented everything in this circle so i could say they begin from one counting numbers two three blah 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 and of course i have the set of whole numbers that contains everything in the natural numbers natural number but includes the number zero so in the state of nothingness i have zero one two three and so on as the whole number so i call this whole number and of course i have the set of integers that contains the whole numbers including the uh, negatives of the in of the natural numbers so i have something like minus three down down minus two minus one zero one two three and everything down there and then i have the quotient number it's another set that encompasses everything the, the the integers the whole numbers and the uh, natural numbers are contained in the quotient and the quotient is anything that can be represented as p over q where q cannot be equal to zero but it can be any integer so that p belongs to uh, integers belongs to integers but q not so we have something like um, one over two we have we have five over one and the rest of them and the rest of them and then uh, finally we have the um, uh, the rational so these are, these are the rational numbers and then we have a set that is outside this set i call them the irrational number represented by i the irrational numbers so we have here we have the pi uh, root 2 root 7 pi and all such numbers that cannot be represented as the as a ratio of perfect ratio of two uh, um, um, integers and then we have the set that, co that covers all of them we call them the rational number uh, the rational numbers so they combine the co it covers everything both in the rush in these so we call them the real numbers so everything in the uh, rational and everything in the uh, irrational number those are the uh, sets of numbers so thank you for watching my video uh, you may go ahead to subscribe to this channel and I um, enjoin you to share this and let others know about this channel and uh, uh, give this video a thumbs up and if you have a question to ask Please drop it down below in the comment section and I will respond to that as soon as I get them. Thank you very much.